what's up guys welcome to another inkscape tutorial for beginners i am shai shake in today's tutorial i will be demonstrating how to create the sale banner this design inspiration i got from the free pick if you open up the google type here free pick now open this this is the website where i got this design inspiration we can see here the title we say graphic resources for everyone you can find your free vectors, stock photos, PhD and icons. This website provides both free and premium resources. You see this one. You see here a uh, icon of crown. This is premium one. If you want this, you have to pay some money. Now this all are free. Very useful website to get your graphic design resources. You can also become a contributor and earn money. If you are a graphic designer and you have many skills such as you can make a background web content, histrometric web content, abstract background or a mock-up, you can upload it here. To do that, you have to join here and you can share your artwork. And you can set a price to it if someone comes to this website. And if it is interested to get your design, you have to pay some money to download that. A very useful website. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get my all latest tips and tutorials. Let's get started. Open up the Inkscape. Now first I will go to the file. Document properties, display unit, I will set to the pixels, unit also pixels, border, show page border, I will uncheck this one, cancel this one, now come here to the view, make sure you have custom selected, now come here to the zoom, 101. Open up this, align and distribute object, also edit object color gradient. Now come here to the align and distribute from the drop down. Make sure last selected is chosen. We have to create this. Now first I will create a rectangle. To create a rectangle select this. Create rectangle and square. And I will create a rectangle here. Let's give this. 60% grey color select this one now bring this here select out of the graphic to deselect now come here and enable the snapping section now grab this bezier pen tool come up here to the mode and select this one create regular bezier path now bring this here to this corner now bring this straight to this corner now bring this little bit rightward Maybe that far is good and bring this out of the graphic, fill here, select it here, enter, select this one, now come here to the stroke pin, give it a light color, now come here to the fill, select this no fill, now come here to the stroke style, from this drop down select pixels and give it a value of 1. Now select out of the graphic to deselect. Now again select this. Now what I will do, I will make a duplicate of this. To duplicate, we I will simply right click, duplicate and place this here. Now select out of the graphic to deselect. Now again grab this Bezier pen tool. Now select it here. Now bring this straight to this corner. Now bring this 2-3 step upward. This far is better. Now bring this out of the graphic and click it here. Enter. Select this one. Select out of the graphic to deselect. Now again grab this Bezier pen tool. Bring it here to this corner and now bring this straight to this corner and bring this little bit down. Maybe that far. 
bring it here out of the graphic and select here enter select select out of the graphic to deselect when we draw this stroke in the downside make sure you bring this curve little bit upward in the upper side it should be slightly downward now what we can do grab over this whole graphic now by holding shift select this gray rectangle so it will deselect now come here to the path and select this stroke to path now select out of the graphic to deselect now again select this stroke now by holding shift in the keyboard select this rectangle now come here to the path different path break apart now select out of the graphic to deselect now again select this stroke now by holding shift in the keyboard select this rectangle now come here to the path different path break apart now select out of the graphic to deselect now again grab this stroke now by holding shift in the keyboard select this rectangle now come here to the path different path break apart now again select out of the graphic to deselect select this stroke now by holding shift in the keyboard select this rectangle path different path break apart now select out of the graphic to deselect now select this inner graphic bring this outward we can notice here the shapes are still joined now what we can do now come here to the path select this break apart now select out of the graphic to deselect select this lower graphic delete this one now grab over this hole and delete this one now bring this here in the middle now to zoom in and out like this we can simply hold control in the keyboard and scroll the mouse up and down and drag like this hold control in the keyboard and hold right click of the mouse and drag wherever you want now select this i will increase the length of this graphic now what i will do i will hold shift in the keyboard and drag this rightward if you hold shift in the keyboard it will increase on the both opposite side i will bring this to this size this size looks better now i will make a duplicate of this to duplicate we can use right click duplicate or we can use keyboard shortcut which is control d now i will come here to the fill tab select this no paint come here to the stroke paint give it a flat color now come here to the stroke style give it a value of 25 now select out of the graphic to deselect select this inner graphic give this blue color select out of the graphic to deselect i will select this stroke bring this down now select out of the graphic to deselect now select this blue graphic come up here and select this flip selected object horizontally and select this flip selected object vertically bring this here and place it here now select this stroke i will decrease the width of the stroke now come up here and give this a value of 15 now select out of the graphic to deselect now select this graphic now by holding shift in the keyboard select this and bring this upward now come up here and select this ray selection to top now select out of the graphic to deselect now grab this bezier pen tool click it here bring by holding control in the keyboard bring this down out of the graphic here 
select it here let go of the control enter select now come here to the width now come here to the stroke style give it a value of 0.001 enter now come here to the path stroke to path now by holding shift in the keyboard select this blue graphic now come here to the align and distribute and center on vertical axis now come here to the path different path break apart now select out of the graphic to deselect now we can notice here a white space between to this graphic because we have used a stroke of one pixel and we have cut it so we can now notice here there is a gap of one pixel what we can do zoom in so the gap is visible to us now select this right side graphic and bring this here to this corner it will get snapped to this corner and make sure you have enabled this snapping section now zoom out Again we can notice a white gap here. Now I will select this one and I will select this lower selection to bottom. Now again I will zoom in. Now come up here and select this edit path by node. Now we will get this node, select this node and bring this to this corner here. It's not getting snapped. So what we can do come up here and enable this one snap to path and it will we bring this to this corner it will automatically get snapped zoom in more so we can place it to the right place we will apply this to this opposite side also select this node and bring this down to this corner if you bring it will automatically get snapped to this corner select this there is a little bit gap white space here now again select this bring this little bit up maybe that far is good select this now zoom out now i will select out of the graphic to deselect now we can see our design will look something like this now select this now by holding shift select this right side graphic now by holding control in the keyboard bring this slightly to the right side that far is better now select out of the graphic to deselect now grab this create an edit text object now click it here now i will write a cell in all capital letters now select this now open up this we went select font family i will choose a font called lig gothic if you want this i have provided a link in the description below it is one of the most popular font in graphic designing. Many professional graphic designer use this font. Select this one. Now click it here. Apply. Now by holding Ctrl and Shift in the keyboard, I will drag this outward to make it bigger. Place it here. Now again select this. Create an edit text object. Now come here to the spacing between letters. I will give it a value of 15 so it will give a space between letters now select this now by holding shift in the keyboard select this graphic now come here to the cancel this one now come here to the align and distribute center on vertical axis center on horizontal like this select out of the graphic to deselect now select this now by holding control in the keyboard I will bring this slightly to the right side 
let's change the color i will give this this palette darker color select this i will also select this stroke now by holding shift in the keyboard i will select this darker color so it will change the color of the stroke to change the color of the stroke what we have to do we have to hold shift in the keyboard and select any color which one you want to give now select this one make a duplicate of this right click duplicate place it here now by holding control and shift in the keyboard drag this inward to make it smaller now select this create and edit text object and i will delete this one and type end of year now select this bring this here now again i will hold control and shift in the keyboard drag this inward to make it smaller now again select this create and edit text object now come here to the spacing between letters give it a value of 15 select this one bring this here now i will make a duplicate of this right click duplicate bring this down now again select this create and edit text object and i will write sale 220 now by holding control and shift in the keyboard i will drag this inward to make it more now by holding control and shift in the keyboard i will drag this inward to make it more smaller to this side place your text whatever you want so guys that's how we can create a cell banner using shift now what we can do i will select this whole graphic now i will make a duplicate of this right click duplicate bring this downward now come up here and select this flip selected object vertically now select out of the graphic to deselect select this text and delete this one also this one with the graphic that text also has flipped so what we can do select this right click duplicate bring this here and select this now by holding shift in the keyboard select this one now bring this first make a duplicate of this right click duplicate bring this down and place it here now what we can do here now select this change the color now also select this change the color so guys that's how we can create a sale banner using inkscape if you have any queries let me know in the comment section below always here for you Make sure to subscribe to the channel to get my all latest tips and tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you in the next video.